Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a food web showing the connections between different animals and insects in a savanna. And hey, if you're new to coding or if you need a refresher, check out my YouTube channel and my learn to code videos like Banana Attack or Taco Delight, Lightning Maze, you'll also like Spirograph and Dance Party. These videos will get you up to speed pretty quickly. I also suggest you follow me and um, uh, subscribe because I'll be posting videos pretty regularly regularly. Anyways, let's get going on our Scratch project. So I'm going to go to Scratch. I've already gone there at scratch.mit.edu. I'm going to click the Create button because we're going to be creating something brand new today. If a tutorial pops up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. You can also say goodbye to the cat. So I'm going to click the garbage can. Goodbye, cat. And what I want to do first is to get a backdrop, a savanna background. So I'm going to go way over here in the bottom corner right there. See that? I'm going to click it and look for a savanna. A savanna right there. Good. So I'm going to double click that. Perfect. Savanna. Now I'm going to go and get a number of animals and insects that might live in a savanna. So I'm just going to click right there and go and find some things like a lion, a frog, an elephant, a grasshopper. Um, there's a beetle right there. So I'm going to double click the beetle. Perfect. Except one thing, the beetle is way too big for my picture. So I'm going to go to size right here and I'm going to make the beetle a lot smaller, maybe 30%. There, that looks a little bit better for a beetle. Let's see what else I can find on my list of animals and insects that live in a savanna. Um, I like the giraffe right there, so I'm gonna click on the giraffe. The giraffe is also still a bit too big, so I'm gonna make him a little bit smaller. Instead of 100%, I'm gonna make him, uh, let's try 60%. Wonderful, that's perfect, right there. And so now I'm gonna spend the next five minutes and go get a bunch more animals and insects that you might find in the savannah. So I'm just gonna pause and go and find a few more insects and animals. Okay, so I've got a lot of animals and insects that might live in a savanna. For example, I got a giraffe and I made it much smaller. Uh, I've got a beetle there. I even got a tree, so it looks like the giraffe is eating from the tree. I got an elephant, a dragonfly a snake, a mouse, a lion, and a frog. All animals and insects that you might see in a savanna. And hey, the next sprite I need to get is really important. It's the pencil sprite. So look, I'm going to go way down here, and I'm going to go get the pencil sprite. It's under the letter P. So all the way down, pencil right there. I'm going to double click it. Boy, that's awfully big. I'm going to make that pencil a lot smaller. So right now it's 100%. I'm going to maybe make it like 50%, a lot smaller. Perfect, right there. So now look what I'm going to do. I'm going to set it up so that pencil will follow my mouse pointer. So do you see my black arrow mouse pointer? Wherever that goes, the pencil is going to follow it. Look how I do that. So I'm on the pencil right now. I'm going to go over here and click green flag. And when the green flag is clicked, maybe I'll make that a bit bigger for you. When the green flag is clicked, I want the pencil to point towards my mouse pointer. So I'm going to go to the motion, point towards the mouse pointer. This is a cool trick. You're going to like this. Then I want it to move 10 steps, which is also an emotion. So, green flag, point to the mouse pointer, move 10 steps. And then I'm going to have the pencil do this forever. So, point towards my mouse pointer, move 10 steps. Ready? Green flag and go. See how it's chasing my mouse pointer? Except one thing, it's going too fast, it's stressing me out. So, I'm going to slow it down a little bit and I'm going to go get the wait button. And let's see how that goes. Ready? Green flag. Oh, too slow. So let me just speed that up a little bit. So instead of one second, a smaller number like 0 0.3. I think that will work. Ready? Green flag. And good. Now it's pointing towards my mouse pointer and following it. Great. So I can make it into a drawing game and make a food web. But I need one more thing. I need this pencil to make a line wherever it goes. So look how I do that. Uh, I'm going to go way down here in the bottom corner and get a pen extension. We don't have one right here. So I'm going to go down to the bottom, click that and go get the pen right there. Now I can make lines with this pencil. So look what I'm gonna do. Uh, when the green flag is clicked, put the pen down. Right there, pen down. And then forever follow the mouse pointer. Ready, green flag. See, it's making a line. Perfect, I can make a line between the lion and the mouse, or the snake and the elephant, except one problem. Whenever I hit the green flag, the old lines stay there. I don't like that. Whenever I hit the green flag, I want to start with a fresh page, get rid of all this old pen mark. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the erase all button. When the green flag is clicked, erase all the old stuff, then pen down, and then start doing this. Ready? Green flag. 
Oh, except I don't like that it starts way over here. I want it to start in the middle every time, right in the dead center, which is zero, zero. So look, I'm gonna go to the motion button and go get, go to zero, zero. That's the first thing. Go to zero, zero, which is the center of the screen right there. Then it's gonna erase all the old pen marks, pen down, and then it's gonna start following my mouse pointer and I can connect all the different creatures in the savannah to create a food web. Watch, ready, set, go. Okay, I'm gonna join the line up to the snake and then the snake to the mouse and continue just like that. Perfect. Okay, next step. Okay, next up, I think you're going to like this one because I don't want pen marks all over the place. I want to control the pen marks. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over to the control and no, it's in the event here. Yeah, when the space key is pressed. So I'm going to get that one. It's going to move all this over a little bit, but not the space key. When the down arrow key is pressed, I want the pen to go down. So down arrow key on your keyboard, right? The arrows. When you press the down arrow, I want the pen to go down. So when down arrow key is pressed, I'm going to go to the pen pen down. Now I'm going to do it again. When the up arrow key is pressed, pen up. Up arrow key. When the up arrow key is pressed, pen up. So now I can control it. Ready? Green flag, pen up. Okay, so now it's not making a pen line. When it gets the line, I'm going to press the arrow down and I'm going to make a line to the giraffe because those two are connected. Sometimes a line might eat a giraffe. So pen up. Now look what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect the uh, frog to the beetle because frogs might eat beetles, so ready? So now I'm gonna press pen down, the down arrow, and go all the way to the beetle. I'm gonna make another line there. Frogs might eat beetles. And then I'm gonna press pen up. That looks really good. It's going to look like a fantastic food web once I connect all these different creatures. Hey, i got a couple more tricks to make your game even better. First of all, I'm going to make these animals look like they're walking. Because look, if you go to the lion, you can see that the lion has many different costumes. There's costume A, B, and C. And if you can click between them really quickly, it looks like they're walking. So, I'm going to do that. Look how I code the lion. When the green flag is clicked, Go to the next costume and do this forever. So I'm going to put a forever around it. So let me make that a bit bigger so you can see that at home or at school. When the green flag is clicked for the lion, forever, go to the next costume. Watch, it looks like the lion's going to be walking. Oh man, oh man, that's way too fast. i got to slow him down a bit. So I'm going to go get the s wait one second button right there. And wait one second. Ready, green flag. Good. Now it looks like the line is walking. Wonderful. I'm going to do that to the giraffe, to the elephant, uh, to the snake, uh, and even to the frog. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do the giraffe for you. So there's the giraffe. I'm going to go to uh, green flag. When the green flag is clicked, next costume forever. So I'm going to go to the looks. You notice the looks one is purple. This is purple, so it's in the purple on the looks button. I'm going to get uh, forever and wait one second. Otherwise, it'll be moving too fast. Ready. Green flag. Now, the giraffe should look like it's walking. Wonderful. Perfect. Um, two more things, if you want and if you have time. You might want to put a title called Food Web. So, I'm going to go way down here to the Sprites button. And I'm going to click on the paintbrush. Paintbrush right there. I'm going to choose a nice color. Uh, purple seems to work for this one. So, I'm going to click with purple. And I'm going to click the T for text right there. And I'm going to write down here, food web. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, grab the corner like that, move it over. Right there, food web. And the last thing you might want to do if you have time is get some music. So watch how I do that. I'm going to stay in the food web sprite. I'm going to go to the sounds button right there. I'm going to click way at the bottom and go choose a loop that works well. Loops are songs. We don't want effects or animal noises or percussion. I'm going to go to loop. And the one I think works really well for this one is called chill out. Chill out right there. Yes, chill out. So there's chill. And I'm going to code it to play forever. So when the green flag is clicked, um, I'm going to go to the sounds button right there. Play sound chill until done. And then do that forever. Forever. 
So when the green flag is clicked, play the sound chill until done and then do it again and again. Green flag. Okay, up arrow. I'm gonna go connect the um, snake and the dragonfly because snake's mighty dragonfly. So now down arrow, I'm gonna go all the way to the dragonfly. It's gonna make the first line in my food web. Hey, I hope you liked that activity. And um, if you're stuck, just go back to look at the different parts of the video to learn how to do the code. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks.